So in this tutorial, we are going to solve a very interesting question under projectile motion. So the question is saying, a soccer ball is kicked from the ground with the initial speed of 19.5 meters per second at an angle of 45 degrees. At the same instant, a player standing 55 meters away from where the ball is kicked starts running uh, toward the ball in order to meet it. What must what must be his average speed for him to meet the ball just before it hit the ground? Let's try to come up with first the free body diagram. Now it is very important for you to understand the question. After that, come up with a free body diagram and see what is being, see what the data you have, and see what is missing. And then from there you can start now coming up with the formulas and everything. So here the free body diagram which I'm going to to give you is. Um, we are saying that a ball is being kicked from here. Okay, so we kick a ball, it goes there at an angle of 45 degrees. So as it is going, it's going to reach at a certain height. Oh, let me just put it there. As it is going, it's going to reach at a certain height, maybe it's here. Okay, and we've been told that the, the angle is 45 degrees and the initial speed and the initial speed is 19.5 meters. Okay, now we have been told that uh, the distance from where the ball was being kicked to where the person is standing is uh, 55 meters. Meaning that uh, from this point here, oh, they were, let's say the person is standing here. Okay, to this point here, the distance is what? 55. Okay, but the question is, what must be his average speed for him to meet the ball just before it hits the ground? Meaning that for this person to run from this point all the way to where the ball is going to run, what will be what the distance? Now, at this point, I'm going to call this distance to be just the change in x. Okay, I'll call this as change in x. So what we should know is that the total distance for this person is 55. That one we have, 55. Another thing which we have to take note here is that we need to find the range of this guy, now of the trajectory now, the range. If I find the range, meaning I'll be able to find the change in x because I have the total distance which is 55. But one thing we have to understand is that for this person to reach here just before it hit the ground, just before the ball reached, uh, hit the ground, the time should be the same. Okay? The time should be the same. So first, let's find the range. So range is given by V squared. Okay? Sine 2 theta divided by G. That is the range. So let's go and find the range. So the range will be the velocity is 19.5. Now we square it. Sine 2 times 45 is, is 90. Divided by 9.8. Divided by 9.8. So what do we expect? Our range now will be sine 90 is 1. So one sine 90 will not affect anything. We have 19.5 squared divided by 9.8. So I'm getting 38.8. That is my range. Now, for me to find this change in x, meaning that the change in x will be equal to 55 minus 38.8. So the change in x now will be 55 minus 38.8, 16.2. This 16.2 is the distance this person used to travel for him to catch the water, the ball, just before it hit the ground. But we've said that the time is going to be the same. So meaning I need to come up with a formula for the first, for the trajectory part, for the time, and also the formula for the time. Then I equate the time equal to each other. Then I find the velocity. I know that the average speed for this guy, for me to find the average speed, 
is going to be the speed is given by the change in x divided by the time like that now one thing i'm going to do now guys here is uh, i have now to make t as a subject of formula okay but for this time i don't have the velocity i don't have the time i need another equation so i'm going to get the time for the trajectory part since the trajectory and this the uh, the, the average velocity has to be the same okay so what i'm going to do now here is i'm going to find the formula which i'm going to use for the time for the trajectory part okay and we know that the time it takes for it to to hit the ground is given by t is equal to 2 v sin theta divided by g so i can find i can find the time here initially we are just equating this thing equal to each other okay so i'm going to say t will be equal to 2 the v is 19.19.5 .19 sin 45 divided by 9.8 so our t should be um 19.5 times 2 39 so 39 sin 45 So this is giving me 45 and then I divide it by 19 point or 9.8 sorry 9.8 so I'm getting 2.81 so this is now 2.81 initially that's the total time okay now that I have the total time and I have the distance I want to find the velocity so I'll say V will be equal to I'm using this formula here so the change in x is 16 16 point 2 I divide this by 9.81 so the average velocity this person should use for him to catch the ball just before it hit the ground it should be 16 point 2 divided by 2.8 1 which is 5.76 so 5 point 76 meters I can say 77 if I round it off meters per second should be the velocity so that is it for this question